hello everyone welcome to another t-shirt design tutorial and this one is going to be a very advanced t-shirt design tutorial and i am going to warn you guys this is not for copyrighted websites like merch by amazon redbubble but this is for non-exclusive stores or websites like gear lands motif like that so this is going to be a recreation of a design so this is the famous jack daniels level you can see i'm going to make a design with this text in this format so first step is you need this text of course then if you want to make a design like this you need that level so you can search like this jack daniel and this is jack daniel label png you will find the tons of different images here but these are copyrighted this is a famous brand so if you upload this on ex exclusive sites like march by amazon you can get banned so that's not my responsibility now i am taking this png from there so this is the original png that i just traced to keep this outline here and i am going to make it exactly same looking so here is the example i'm going to keep there and then i'm going to change this text with my these elements so for this one you need these fonts so here i am going to use this three font this font is called black number seven you will find that by googling this font is called Jackie and this one is the okay so I'm sorry Matt Motlo caps something like that this is the font name so these are not the exact font but these are the close font to this design now for making this design I need to keep this proportion same so first of all I'm going to delete this part of the design that is not necessary and not this R sign from here but what i will do here is i am going to replace that with my grandpa text so for placing that text i need to create an ellipse like this just like this maybe in this position and then i will type my grandpa text in this position here so i am going to type in that grandpa is my name classic cards are my game so this is how it is going to look like and then I want to make it in this font. So I am just taking my eyedropper tool with pressing I. And if I click on any font, it is going to pick that font size. Now I just go. I can simply make it bigger in size. So I am going to keep it something like this. Because I need to place another text here. That is, is my name. So I am going to simply copy that. Control C, Control F. That means copy paste in front. And then I want to make it a bit smaller in size. Something like this. That is perfectly fine. And then in this one I am going to type in. Is my name. But here I will just change the font to this one. So that it is clearly visible there. And not overlapping with anything. So maybe I will be able to move this up a bit. I can simply do this much mod modification. This is not creating a brand, so I'm, I can do that. Something like this. So, Grandpa is my name. This is the text position right now. And here I will use this classic car here. And this one I get from FreePick. This is a free to download version. But whenever you are taking a free graphics, remember that there you can just use a part of them to make a design out of that. So, this is the original graphics that was in FreePick. So, I'm going to take the car here. This is not the very perfect way to work, but you can work like this and I am doing this without any problem. You can follow or you can just do not follow. You can simply buy subscription from FreePick. That's all. So I am going to take this black outline only, no other details. So this is fine. Just I need to make it a group because this was in a group and I removed that. So in this position I will use that but I will do that a bit later. So for this 10SC part, this 10SC whiskey. So I am going to remove that and then here I am going to type in Ganpa is my name and classic cars. Classic cars I am going to make it in this script font. You can see this is how it is looking. So this is not a very perfect looking font but it will just match it will just do the recreation of the design so something like this i can simply select this one and then click on that one again that will become the key object let's align my this text with that one so this is how you can align it so classic cards are my game and here i am going to classic cards are i'm going to put in that here are my game 
okay so maybe i am making a bit making a bit mistake here and that is okay i need to put in some other stuffs here like this is my name i can put that here maybe okay let's try so i'm going to make it is my name but this one of course in title case okay sorry so this font does not support that capital letter so that is not a problem basically i can simply make it in this font don't worry about the position right now i'll fix that so maybe i can simply reduce the gaps a bit let's break it grandpa is my name something like this position and then i'm going to put the classic cards but this part i want so let's keep it something like here and make them a group that is totally fine i'm going to remove these elements from here so is my name grandpa is my name so then i'm going to delete that part maybe i can just bring that a bit down now that is fine is my name and then i need to type in classic cards so i'm going to do that classic cards and this one i am going to make it in this font so it is going to look right now look like this that is totally fine so maybe i will just bring it a bit closer to each other and then i am going to make it same size white as my is my text so that is fine is my name classic cards are my game so i am going to are my game and this one i'm going to make it in this font and here i will use this element just to replicate the feel of original level and this is how it is going to look let's align them in the center position distribute their space make them a group and then align it with the other text so this is how it is looking i can simply select these three distribute the space between them maybe bring them a bit down so that part is cool classic cars are my game in this one i am going to make it in this bolder looking big font so this is how i wanted to make here let's break it maybe a bit more bigger not too much bigger that it is it it overlaps with the other element but this much is good to me let's i am selecting pressing q for lasso tool so that i can select like this and then delete so that is really cool option cool way to erase designs so maybe i can make it a bit bigger in size because my car is a bit bigger so i need a bigger space here maybe in this much position that much bigger position then i can simply move this up and then i will put my car inside that area so this is my car let's put in here now here all i am going to do is i am going to place my car in this position or maybe a bit outside in this area that is totally fine and then here so if i change the color of my car this is how it is going to look right now and if i just cut it i am going to double click here to select these two and then make them a group press ctrl f to paste in your this car here and then i'm going to select this one and then again select this one that will become the key object align them so this is the center position of that car so i can maybe make it a bit more bigger in size and then a bit in the side way so that's this is how it is going to look right now and i need to fix it so how to fix i'm going to make it a bit more visible through that thing here so this is how it is looking right now don't worry i'm just going to make it unite so unite will make it on single object you can see there are tons of different small details in the design and that is going to become one single object and this is how it is looking but there are many small parts in there so don't worry about it just this is how it is looking so i need to make this part of the car visible but not this part so i'm going to select this car here you have to say this was this carefully so i'm going to take my pencil pen tool with black fill and then i'm going to draw a shape just in between these lines i am going to turn this align to pixel off and then something like this 
and then here let's move it inside the black area and that is done so this is how it is going to look right now don't worry just make it reverse and you can see this is how we just hide that part of the car and it is looking good so here i'm going to click on this surface layer and then i want to select this part the original floral part floral part and then i'm going to turn on transparency for that i'm selecting my black color again taking my pen tool so that i can draw a shape inside this area just like this and then i'm going to go inside this area i am going to stay inside the car part just like this and then that part is done okay so i need to make sure that i am staying inside my cars area so here i am going to go from this area okay that part is done so this much is good for me i don't need to do anything from here i think i will do that later if i need to and then i'm going to come back to my starting point so you can see this is how it is going to look right now this part from this part it is looking like the car is coming out from that area and then if i select it and make it black it is going to work so you can see this is how it is looking and this is this is the recreation of that jack daniel level style design you may have seen this kind of designs on different marketplace so here so i am sharing how to make one and you can of course do modifications here you can do everything you want to do in this style with any text you want and this is going to work so i am going to select everything make that a group and this is how my design is going to look right now and this is the full tutorial and the important part is these three fonts i am not going to attach them in anywhere in my group not in my description because i need you to find them if you can find them then you deserve to make a design like this so don't upload them on merge by amazon that can be terminate your account but you can upload this one any non-copyrighted websites so that's it for today's video guys i hope it will help you understanding this process thank you very much see you in the next video guys have a great time